there's many assumptions I had about America before I came here, and I've come to learn that those were wrong. For one, I just assumed people spoke English here. Um, <laughs> It's far from it. It's not, you know what, it's not so much the language, so much as the pronunciation of words that throws me off. It's just what Americans have done with the language. You guys have just, wow, you've just, you've done something. You've put 22s on the English language. It's got rims that just pimp my language. That's what you've gone with, you know? I don't understand. I was chatting to this woman downtown the other day. She came up to me and she wanted me to see something. I don't know what though. She was like, oh my God, look over there. I said, look over what? She's like, over there. Look at that her. And I said, her? She's like, no, her, her. <laughs> There's two of them. <laughs> I understand nothing, even the small words, just the pronunciation, you know, small things that get you by. Uh, for instance, I pronounce the opposites of uncle as aunt. I say my aunt. Out here you say my aunt, which to me is an insect, <laughs> which made me look like an ass when my friend told me his aunt died. And I was like, so what? There's tons of those out there. What a great way to end a friendship. I couldn't get help the other day when searching for a battery for my remote control. Because that's what I say, battery, a small form of power. It's in America you say battery, which to me is a different form of power. Sponsored by Chris Brown. The... <laughs> and you know what I understand? We live on different sides of the globe, so it's fine. The language will evolve. This is something I've, I've come to understand. But I, I hope I change one thing in your hearts forever. Just one thing. And that is that animal in the wild that looks like a horse. It has black and white stripes. Yeah, do me a favor. From now on, please, it's not zebra. Okay, it's zebra. Yeah? Just like it's not debra, it's debra. Same structure of word. Plus you cannot name them because you do not have them. Zebra. This is madness. Everything out here is different. Do you know how hard it is to learn when you come out here? You have to change everything. There's a measurement system, which is just, I mean, America, you guys have your own thing, the imperial system, you know? On my side of the world, we use the metric system, and by my side, I mean the rest of the world, you know? <laughs> we have the metric system, which is, amongst other things, very efficient. It's a very simple process, you know? Everything goes into each other, and out here you have imperial, which is fine. I mean, I won't judge you. If you want to be imaginary, that's up to you, but... <laughs> I just feel like there's some consistency that's needed. Small things, like for instance, uh, when we abbreviate our small measurement, milligrams, we use MG, milligrams, MG, milligrams. Yeah, yeah. And you guys have, uh, have ounces, ounces, which you then abbreviate OZ. <laughs> there's no Z in the word, ounces. <laughs> I don't know. That, that's pale in comparison to what you've done with pounds. That for me, Please explain to me how the abbreviation for pounds became LBS. LB pounds. I look like the idiot walking into the store going, could I please have the two labs bag of sugar? I was like, you mean pounds? I said, I don't see the P, no, I don't. I said, well, it means pounds. It's not LBS, a lot of bullshit. That's what it stands for. This is horrible. In fact, it's, it's, it's crazy. You do realize the imperial system is so inefficient that even American drug dealers have switched over to metric. Even drug dealers got to the point where they said, we need some order, we're going with metric. <laughs>